This is Adria's 2021 range of camper vans. This is its active base and uh, it's on a Renault as you can see and this will cost 53,000 euros. It's five meters or just under five meters in length. Uh, let's get the length, there you go. 197 97 width, 204 in height and got an inner height really 130 because most of the time the roof is going to be down you have five or six sitting places and four sleeping places in a van that doesn't have a shower and if you have a toilet it's going to be a portable one right now this is a car and somebody said once before, I just don't get the idea of sleeping in cars. Well, I've slept in lots of cars. I suspect I may well have slept in more cars than the person who made that comment. Uh, obviously, you can make a bed out of here, and you've got the tent in the roof as well. Now, and another point here, it's got a very small footprint. So, uh, five times two, so less than five times two, in fact, so it's less than 10 uh, square meters footprint which uh, may be something uh, pretty positive but uh, to, mi to my way of thinking if you're going to spend 52,000 euros on, on something you're going to do camping in you're better off getting a van and in fact you can get a 541 centimeter van and uh, that will uh, have a similar footprint slightly larger of course everybody's different and everybody wants different things some people it might not bother them that there's no toilet in it and no shower in fact the toilet you can rig one up but uh, you can't really difficult to sort of rig up a shower uh, you can see of course it does have some water here as well and uh, we've got electric and another thing i want to point out web or heating diesel heating so you've got to have a diesel uh, fuel tank anyway so you may as well have uh, use that so that saves space uh, for, for gas you've got two um, USB things there and it also comes with a fair bit of storage uh, down here which there you go you can see down there and also there's your battery now but 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 bearing in mind what I just said Let's go to the back <laughs> and uh, oh there's their uh, full their full range mm -hmm. I don't see the I don't see the car there never mind and and here uh, a bit of space at the back uh, the chairs will come out you can have an extra chair put in there if you want an extra chair put in there so it's at six six belted positions a people carrier i don't know how much they normally cost about the tent and the roof but uh obviously you say what well, if i converted my own vehicle well you could try doing that i suppose but do you really want to do the, the tent in the roof yeah i mean that's something uh, there's no way you get anything other than a professional to do in my, my way of thinking and that will cost the tent about 4,000 euros as for the, the labour to do it I haven't got a clue um, but 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 you know you might live somewhere where you uh, uh, in the city uh, you live in a block of flats you want something for the weekend sometimes uh, you want to uh, um, you know something to use to take to work maybe you're traveling around a bit sometimes you might like to have something to sleep so a bit more comfortable uh, okay I don't use hotels but mind you get a lot of hotels for the cost of that plus a car um, so uh, there you have it that gives a gives <laughs> everybody is different and everybody wants different things now there are also uh, vehicles that uh, do actually offer uh, a shower and uh, a toilet uh, such as you've got from, from Westphalia and other companies I mean they obviously cost far more than what this uh, Adria would cost now people here another thing so well you go to a gym 
Right, so you want to park in a gym's car park when you go travelling. Well, fair enough. I mean, if that's what you want to do. Uh, I mean, I like going to places, historical places. I like parking by the sea or lakes or mountains. But that's me, and I take it that your idea of a great holiday may be parking next to a gym so you can lose the toilet. Good, right. Uh, so instead of something like this, uh, and now bearing in mind the floor plate issue, let's see if we can find a van which is from the same company. Uh, so if you want an Adria, you're going to get one which has exactly, uh, not exactly, but has a similar floor plate to it. Now they do vans on Fiat Ducato and on the Citroen Jumper. And let's see what we've got here. Should have prepared this earlier. <laughs> this one here, Twin Plus, 540 SP. Costs the same. Uh, it's uh, width is 205, so it's six centimeters wider. But you can stand up in it. Oh, you've got a bed. You've got a toilet. You've got a kitchen. Um, okay, you've got gas. <laughs> Makes more sense, don't you think? A lot more sense. But, 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 maybe you don't have a garage. Maybe you have to leave it in the street. Maybe you don't have enough space. And, I know, 41 centimetres mightn't sound like much. But it's a lot if you're, you know, in the street somewhere, uh, living in somewhere like Milan, for example, or Paris. So, yeah, uh, I appreciate all these things. This vehicle, 268 centimetres in height, uh, so that's a lot more than the other one. Uh, what's that, 60, 64 centimetres higher. Uh, then, you know, it's not going to go in an underground, that's certainly going to go in the underground car. Ga uh, garage where I used to live in Warsaw, for example, in my underground parking. So, yeah, put everything into context. So, uh, I think the same with um, all cars. I do, you know, if you if you got a car and you want to sort of move up to a, a motorhome or, a, or a, a van, then I think the thing to do is to go directly to the van and cut out these sort of car camper things. So this is Caravan Salon 2020 uh, and normally there's more people in this here. This is a Thursday morning. There's an, oh and the, the, the telephone has gone round. What, do you know what's done that? I shall tell you why it's done that. It's because the gimbal has given up on me. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to walk up to the vehicle I was talking about now. Oops, there we go. Oh, back in action. Finish with this. Thanks for watching. The gimbal gave up on me because I didn't, I forgot to charge it last night, so, and uh, I'll have to charge it right now. I knew it was near, nearly dead, the battery anyway, and uh, DJI Osmo 3, really good piece of equipment. So, uh, I've got a lot of use out of it, this has been filming for two and a half hours this morning alone. So, thanks very much for watching, I hope you found that of interest and all the best from Dusseldorf.